Our first guest, though, is Rachel Claver, a marketing strategist, presenter, speaker, writer, and much more, too, to provide some focus and advice on what businesses can be doing during this time to survive. Good morning, Rachel. Lovely to have you with us. Oh, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Now, now you work a lot with businesses from all sectors. What are their main concerns and all their questions at this time? I think the most biggest pressing thing is obviously everyone wants to stay safe, and I think that's great. Um, I feel that for businesses that are operating in a really strong point of view, it's quite easy for us to then move forward and go, OK, we can just shut things down or minimise things. But the, the people that are really stressed are those businesses that have gone into huge financial stress. They were already precarious or because of COVID-19, they've, they've become stressed a stressed business. And business owners do carry their business like a baby it is their child and so they are carrying that stress going into there and worrying about what's going to happen how can I keep my business going will it still be the same way and um, what am I meant to be doing right now how do I talk to people what what should I be saying on social media and communicating and and why why was what I was doing yesterday not okay now like all that stuff is what's going on which is a huge amount of change for any business owner and we're all experiencing it en masse which is absolutely really hard yeah we're all I mean it's all it's happened to everyone isn't it so what's your key advice yeah. that you're giving to businesses right now Okay, so the first thing is health first, and that's your physical health and your mental health. So making sure you take time. And I'm saying don't make any snappy business decisions except for the ones that are out of your control. So obviously we've all been told to shut down and, and stop operating if we're not essential. So, so follow that guideline, but don't make any other big decisions. Just let the dust settle. Um, the second thing that's really important to do is to make sure that you look after your physical health and get your routines and create a new normal inside your house of how everything is working. And then the last thing is, this is a great opportunity. Us business owners don't get a lot of time often to work on our business and really think strategically the way forward. And we've been given a gift of that time. And so let's use that to really shape and work out the way forward for the short, the medium and the long term. Yeah. Well, obviously, all businesses have been affected with this pandemic. I mean, it's, it's, it's the new norm, isn't it? I mean, we're all sort of just trying to feel our way a little bit. Uh, but there are some, that the core ones that have really, really been affected are like, we don't know how long the travel restrictions are going to go on for. Mm. So what about people who work in tourism? So the three main ones that have been affected most are travel, um, tourism, hospo and retail. So with tourism, um, the, one of the things is that for a long time we've been really marketing to this beautiful worldwide audience we've got and we don't know when we're going to get those. So my, my cry for people who are in that area is this is a time that you start to really focus on the, on the domestic market. There'll be people who soon will need to have holidays once the restrictions go. If we close those borders and we, we clean up the virus in New Zealand and get it under control, we will be able to visit and, and develop and explore our beautiful country. And I, I'm old and I grew up with don't leave t um, town till you see in the country stories. You know, like, I don't know if you remember those now. I know you, you know, heaps younger than me. Um, but, but that was a story, you know, when we were kids, that was the story we're sharing. How about we bring that back? Don't leave town till you see the country. Let's get us exploring and sharing those things. Internationally, it's a far bigger issue. And you know, part of this is sometimes things happen outside of our control that we can't change. But you've all got transferable skills that you can use in different industries if you need to, either in the short or long term, that you could do to cultivate and bring in some money if you needed to, because there are growth areas. So definitely for tourism, you know, reshape that domestic market, but also look, are my skills transferable and can I use them in a different field if I need to? Yeah. Hey, we're not old. We're Gen Xers. Apparently we're best equipped to deal with this because we're used to uh, letting ourselves in at home when we were kids uh, after school. Oh, but anyway, absolutely. let's move on from that one. That's so what true. About, That's very true. What about the hospital and the retail sectors? What should they be looking at? Yeah, so I work with a lot of small town retailers um, who work across New Zealand and a lot of them still aren't online. So this is a great opportunity to be able to get online and move your products online. Shopify, for example, are offering a 90-day free trial, which is normally only 7 or 14 days, I think. So you've got time to actually load up and create a website and take your business online during this time while everything is closed. You've got that opportunity, so take that opportunity. 
diversify the way that people find you. Yes, we're all shut down for essential services now, but that won't always be the way. So use this time to move in. Learn how to use social media better. You use your social media platform. Start to build a community and learn how to use new to digital tools. There are so many businesses out there that don't do that, and that's a great opportunity. And the same goes for our hospo. Get used to it. Find new ways to deliver what you do to other people. We were starting to explore home deliveries and things like that, and you were working this out. It's been shut down now, but it will happen again. So use this time to really work through how can I communicate with my audience? How can I build it? How can I collect emails and talk to them via email and social media and build a community so I can grow and build my business and have different ways to connect with people? Rachel, thank you so much. I know you're a very busy woman. Thanks for taking the time to, to quit talking with us today. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to find out more from Rachel, you can check out her website, rachelclarver.com.